All right, <clears throat> this video pretty much speaks for itself. A little surprised that it made it on to um, regular television news, but then again, everything is more and more just right in our face. But here we have um, a gentleman talking about anomalies about these fires. It's just unbelievable people still rep climate change. This problem has a lot to do with trees, or more specifically, their roots. Some of them are still on fire, and folks heading up there to check on their homes or fire damage might not even realize it. So we're up here on Hill Street, and we're just doing spot checks for smoldering and for any trees that need to come down. Don Tezdal took now this video over the weekend in Detroit. House. A volunteer firefighter with the Idana Detroit Fire District, Tezdal was back up there doing fire mop-up when he came across a serious problem many might miss. You do not want to fall in that. This is everywhere. We're going to put this out, but these things are all over the hillside. From above the mound, it might look just like a little smoke, but below it is an active fire just waiting for the chance to get out. You've got a 1200 degree fire going on. You've got a 1200 degree fire going on. You've got a 1200 degree fire going on right next to somebody's house. And this can just spread. So we're going to put this out. Well, if you didn't know any better, you could probably find yourself with two legs knee deep in, a, in one of those holes. And you, it doesn't take long at 1200 degrees to burn the shoes right off your feet. Tesdall posted the video to inform the community of what is going on in Detroit. Oh my gosh, this is my house. One of his first posts was last week showing what the fire did to his own home. This is all that's left of my house. Uh, the reason why I've been posting these videos is, is to give the community an idea of what's going on. It's extremely hazardous up here right now. So In this case, guys, underground, where you can't know. see hidden fires and root systems that could burn undetected for months. You know, I, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we still have a lot of uh, this stuff going on well into February. Fires that not only pose a danger to those walking on the ground above them, but for anyone even near them. It becomes like clay. You walk over the top of it and it just breaks. It's real fragile. So it wouldn't take very much for a very dangerous tree to just topple down onto the highway. And you because the fire district is all volunteer, it has nowhere near the number of chainsaws and tools it needs to deal with the dangerous trees. It's hoping donations will help with that. Because these firefighters know their work is far from over. And so are the dangers. We're still trying to save houses. There's still plenty we're saving up here, and it's still plenty, plenty dangerous. If you'd like to help out these volunteer firefighters who have done so much over the last couple of weeks, there is a donation.